Hi, in this video we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna try and detect uh, concave and convex ed edges. So remember, concave are the ones, the red ones. Uh, it's where the angle is is less than 180 degrees and convex are the green ones where the angle is more than 180 degrees. So we're gonna be doing this. Okay, so the first idea and the naive approach is to create a group node. Plug it in. And uh, try to use this minimum and maximum angle. But as you can see, it doesn't quite work because this one, this, this is the concave convex edge and this is the concave edge and they can't be in the same group and no matter how hard, hard, hard you try you just can't get them you just can't select concave and convex edges this uh, doesn't work it somehow doesn't care about the uh, polygon normals orientation so you can try all day long but you won't get the results you want so this doesn't work okay so how can we do this so your first option is to use this uh, tool by um, setfx labs this measure curvature which uh, does pretty much the whole thing but if you want to do it by yourself, uh, it creates this uh, convexity and concavity attribute and you can remap it and do all sorts of stuff. But if, if you want to do it yourself, here's how can you can do it. You can do it with a measure sop and, uh, and some attribute wrangle. And that's it. Okay, but the, the first thing you need to do is it won't work on this kind of uh, flat flat polygons so first you need to subdivide them use open subdiv by linear so it won't deform your geometry you just need some extra uh, s uh, subdivisions so this is what you can do and now uh, create a curve uh, a measure node set it to points measure is curvature mean per element and uh, these, these settings and this will create this uh, curvature attribute and if we have a look at it it goes from something like this to to something like this so from 1.5 to minus 1.5 and uh, now all we have to do is uh, group uh, the points that are above zero those are those above zero those are convex edges and those below zero are concave so you can do it with uh, this simple little vex expression so if the curvature is less than minus 0 0.1 you can also use less than zero but I don't want to include include the uh, points with uh, small small angles, so that's why I use 0 0.1. So if it's smaller than 0 0.1, then put it to a group which I called concave, and you can use any group name you want. And if the curvature is curvature attribute is bigger than zero or zero. Point one in my case I put it into a group which I called convex and now I can use this groups to add color on my on my geometry and now you will be able to do something like this uh, copy only onto points which are uh, convex so if you don't want to copy geometry to something that is which has this kind of angle 
which could like uh, penetrate the geometry you could uh, create your convex attribute like in this way and uh, now you might be asking okay what but oh, what if i don't want my geometry to be subdivided what if i want if, if i prefer it to have it simple so what you can do let me show you on this simple example where i created this kind of two kind of boxes well, one has uh, flipped normals so this is the inside and in this case uh, this is the inside and this is the outside and here is this is the outside in here so again i'm subdividing it so the measure works correctly so that the measure works correctly and uh, now i'm transferring the attribute to the original geometry so you can use this attribute transfer node transfer a uh, point attribute which in this case is it's called uh, curvature and i think the defaults should be fine but maybe you need to play with the distance threshold or the blend maybe probably not but because we just uh, subdivided the geometry and all the points are at the same location it shouldn't be a problem so you just use this attribute transfer node and again you can uh, then can create groups with this simple vex expression and uh, it works and for example here is here are the same boxes but with the subdivision and here they are without the subdivision so it will work like this you can create this attribute on your boxes if, if you don't want to subdivide your geometry. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.